Now, trust me, this won't be the ordinary two nights defense that you guys play. It's not gonna be one of those videos where people just show you book moves here and there. I mean, just to confuse you, but see what I mean. So in my previous video on the two nights defense, I covered what I believed were going to be some new lines, at least to some chess players. Let's say after pawn to e4 by white, then you respond with pawn to e5, just having an equal game, knight to f3, knight to c6, defending the pawn, and then bishop c4, which is the Italian game. If you remember very well, in my previous video, I recommended the move knight to f6 instead of playing bishop c5. And so just go on and play knight to f6, and here you will see most of your opponents, not just your lower rated opponents, even advanced opponents, playing the move knight to g5, simply attacking the pawn on f7. So you simply go pawn to d5 once again, because they think after they take on d5, maybe they are going to enter into the lines of the fried liver attack after knight takes d5. Now, if at all you didn't watch my last video on the two knights defense, I suggest that you do. The link is in the card above, so maybe you can watch that video. After you watch this one, I don't know. Or maybe you can do it the other way around. See, this pawn on d5 is attacking our knight on c6. And remember what I showed you in my previous video. I suggested the move pawn to b5 right away, which is called the Uvested variation or the Alvested variation. Or depending on your pronunciation, the Uvested variation. This might look like a dubious gambit, which only works against lower rated opponents. But nope. In fact, when you check the master's database, you'll find quite a few number of games played with this line. In fact, Magnus Carlsen played this in an OTB classical match in 2006 against a 2600 Grandmaster and he went on to win the game. Duda also played this line against Wei Yi and ended up having a good game as well. Anyway, so just like I mentioned before, Bishop takes b5, d takes c6, bishop b3 or knight takes f7 in this position are all bad moves. You will see why after watching that video. The correct move is bishop f1, which is what we want to see, by the way. So you will see your advanced opponents, probably titled players, playing bishop f1, which is difficult to see once again. Ah, oh, Kasper, are you repeating the same stuff that you taught in the last video? No, I'm trying to lay a foundation for you guys so that you understand my new recommendation in this video. So again, you don't have to take with your knight on d5 or your queen because white can play knight to c3 after you take with your queen or simply taking on b5 with his bishop after you take with the knight on d5. So I suggested the move knight to d4 instead after which you're going to see 90% of your opponents playing pawn to c3 they just want to get rid of your knight and this is where i advise to take on d5 letting white to take your knight on d4 and after they take you now take the undefended knight on g5 and this is when you're going to see them taking on b5 with check after which you just safely put your king on d8 and believe you me your king on d8 is very much safe very safe indeed it's hardly easy for white to reach your king right here and you will see why now why was i showing you this line which i partially covered in the previous video well the reason is simple i wanted to introduce to you guys a new way of playing the two knights defense if you want to reach this same position so please remember this position just keep it in your mind and now let's go back so again here we go white begins with pawn to e4 we play e5 knight f3 attacking our e5 pawn knight c6 then bishop c4 the italian game we play knight f6 inviting white to play knight g5 as if we want to allow him play the fried liver attack pawn to d5 white takes the pawn and now instead of pawn to b5 here I recommend that you confuse the enemy by going back to your knight d4 ideas. After knight to d4, in case white plays pawn to d6 right here, renewing the threat of taking on f7, don't worry, I got you covered. You can simply watch the video that has popped up in the card above where I covered all these lines and you won't have any difficulties. But the move that you're going to see in this position is not 
pawn to d6 most of the times. It is pawn to c3, which is the top played move by the way, in both the Masters and the Liches database. Now I don't really like what most black players do in this position. They play knight to a5, which is an okay move, but just throws away a bit of advantage here. So I just recommend that again, you take advantage of this B pawn and play pawn to B5 this time. And ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, even in this position, the correct move according to Stockfish and the Masters database is Bishop F1. And once again, I can guarantee you guys that you won't find most of your lower rated opponents playing like this. They have been taught not to move the same piece twice in the opening stage. Besides, it just looks weird to develop a piece and then undevelop it on the next move. So this is surely an engine move. After bishop f1, the correct move, I recommend that you do nothing about this knight. Just go on and take on d5 with your knight. And after c takes d4, this is when you now take the knight on g5. And once again, just like in the previous line, here is where you will see white taking on b5 with check. And what did I say? Just play king d8 and your king is completely safe. And now in this video, I'm not going to cover the lines that I covered in the last video on the two knights defense. Instead, I'll try to fill the gaps that I left. And as you can see in this position, the black queen is attacking the pawn on g2. So here you will see white castling short or simply playing queen f3. E.g. queen f3 just holding on to his pawn. Not to mention that the white queen is also eyeing our undefended knight on d5 which is why I recommend you just be simple. Play bishop b7 here. Defending your knight you are going to see white castle short. Now hey it is in this position where I said do not play knight to f4 yet. Because there's no checkmate coming. I mean, after knight to a4, white would just take your undefended bishop on b7. And so you have to play rook b8 first. Defending this bishop. And if d takes e5, again don't go knight to a4 in this position. Thinking you have a mate on g2. Nope. White would just play queen g3. And this time you don't have knight e2 check. Which would win the queen on g3. Because white's light squared bishop is still covering this square. And so you need to be very careful even when playing this aggressive opening. Instead, the best that you can do in this position is just to simply go knight to e3. What are we doing here? We are attacking the rook on f1 and at the same time attacking the queen on f3. For example, if queen takes the knight, well, this mate in one. But going back, if queen g3 is played, here you can simply take the queen and after pawn takes, instead of taking the f rook, which would just help white to position his piece as well. I suggest you go knight c2 targeting the other rook and if pawn to d4 now you can simply take the rook bishop d3 pawn to c5 pawn to c5 is another important pawn break in this line please remember it bishop a4 c takes d4 pawn to e6 a discovery on the rook so you just play rook c8 if e takes f7 knight c2 a3 bishop e7 Rook c1, knight a1, I mean white just lost a chance to trap this knight and here you should go on to win the game. Alright, let's go back. Back to this position, after bishop takes b5 with check, we play king d8 and then white plays queen f3. Instead of the normal bishop b7, let me just show you a glimpse of how Duda played this opening with black pieces. I'm not gonna finish it, I just want you to have confidence in this defense by seeing how super gms play it well here duda just went on to take on d4 and at the same time defending on d5 then white just simply played bishop c6 or attacking two things the knight and the rook and then duda just played knight a4 in this position which was very tricky by the way bishop takes a8 does not work because duda would have played bishop g4 attacking the queen and let's say queen b7 this is more of an equal game Knight d3 check, king f1 the only move, bishop d6 and if queen b8 by the way, white is losing in this position because of queen e5 and checkmate is now unavoidable. This is how Duda prepared this game. And there you have it guys, this is another way of playing the two knights defense by simply delaying the pawn to d5 idea and only play it on move 6. So again, don't feel lazy to give this video a thumbs up if at all you enjoyed watching this video. 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because that's how you encourage me to keep on making more wonderful content just like this one and if you want to take your chess very seriously consider checking out my courses on my website the link is in the description down below not to mention that you can also join membership on my patreon page by following the link which is again in the description down below all right so have a good day and peace out